Do you like grand strategy games? Do you like Mass Effect? What would happen if you mix these two together? You get Mass Effect Beyond the Relays. This is an impressive mod for grand strategy game Stellaris. Now, where Stellaris is all about building your space race and conquering the galaxy, starting off with one planet and exploring, expanding your empire, it appears Beyond the Relays sets you up in an already established domain. Now I do say it appears as this is just a first look video. I don't know how to play Stellaris, so I'm still learning that game as well as learning to play Beyond the Relays. Therefore, expect more detailed review later on. However, I'm always up for a challenge, so let's take a look at what's going on in Beyond the Relays. When you first load up the game, you have a choice of around about 15 different playable races. There's the usual suspects, Astari, Batarians, Torians. There's also some outsiders too. You can play as the Collectors or even the Geth Heretics, you know, the Geth that have sided with Sovereign. I really like this idea that you can see two different sides of the Geth. Each species has its own way of ruling. Batarians are a dictatorship, Turians are militaristic, whereas the Asari are diplomatic. Depending on who you choose is going to influence your playstyle. So for example, the Collectors are dominating, so therefore you won't be opening up trade routes with their neighbours. So you're going to need to decide on how you want to play before you choose who you want to play. From what I can gather, you are able to change this during gameplay, but you'll be running your government, so I doubt it'll be easy. I've tried out a few so far. Now in the main game, you start off with one planet and you start with expanding your territory as fast as possible. Playing this way seems to be the best way to learn the game and you survey your new planets and build up your empire. I've started using both the Asari and the Batarians in Beyond the Relays, and both already have a large territory from the outset. This for me was a little overwhelming, as it means that you already have planets and ships that you've got to manage without going through that learning process first. It certainly does appear to be aimed at people already accustomed to playing Solaris. Looking further into this, apparently there is three different modes of play. Traditional Stellaris sandbox, each with Empire starting on an even footing, a canon game mode that starts shortly after the first contact war, each with its species starting with their lore accurate colonies, technologies and fleets, and a third hybrid mode that will allow players to play as the empires that are primarily event driven in the canon map. And the year I appear to have started in is just after the first contact war, 2165. The map in Stellaris is generated based on your starting settings, so no two games will ever be the same. However, in Beyond the Relays, they've imported the entire Mass Effect Galaxy map, and it is massive. It really does make the original game feel small. From the map screen, you can see all of the factions and their territories, and the developers have even boasted that they have an entire mass relay network in place. Zooming in on a planet at star level lets you see what's going on in the system. Here you can build spaceports and ship factories. These expand your territories and help defend it. But it's not just a repetitive cycle of expansion, attack or defence. Story plays a huge part too. Do you join the galactic community and vote for bills at the Citadel? Do you assign scientists to find out why your population has started dancing and laughing uncontrollably? When I started the Batarians, I ventured into the Alliance territory. Straight away they closed the borders to me. I'd have to choose between improving relationships with them or classing them as my enemy. Both have different options for me, such as sending in an envoy or declaring war. But that would have to wait, as I was informed an asteroid was on a collision course with one of my inhabited planets. Great. Now what? I'm still learning what to do with these different options and these tabs, and now I have to try and save a planet from impending doom. There's a lot going on here, from governing your planets to expanding your territory. I've not even touched on the research and development of new weapons and technology, managing your income or resources, whilst all keeping your friends close and your enemies at arm's reach. I'm looking forward to getting to grips with the mechanics, as complicated as they may seem. Oh and as for the asteroid, I had a squadron of fighters nearby system, so I managed to direct them in to destroy it. Let me know in the comments if you've played Stellaris, or if you've played Beyond the Relays, maybe you can give me some tip. The galaxy of Mass Effect has just gotten a hell of a lot bigger with this game and I can't wait to see where it's going to take me. If you're into the modern scene, make sure you check out my essential mods for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That video is on screen now. Don't forget to hit the like button or even the join button if you want to support the channel. Big thank you to Nerdy Dude, the supporters, and you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Commander.